So when I think of success, I think of people who are able to live their lives doing something they're really truly passionate about um, and, the, and, and able to balance you know, having a family or their personal lives with their work. And usually that's because they're doing something they're so passionate about. So I've been lucky to have a lot of influences um, of people who, who are doing that. And in particular, my mom, who's always really directed me. She's always been so passionate about her work and always guided me to, to follow my heart and do what it is that I really love to do and not worry about making money or doing anything like that. Okay, so I decided to get involved with Sweat, Sweat Angels because it's an easy way for people to do what they're already doing, which is talking about CrossFit. You know, everyone that does CrossFit loves to talk about CrossFit. Um, and then in doing that, they can give back to great causes. So it's a really a win-win situation. One of the things that I love the most about, the, about CrossFit is the community and the fact that we're about so much more than just working out and you know trying to look better. It's more about the whole lifestyle and supporting everyone else who's in the gym and making our communities around us better. So I think that Sweat Angels really promotes that and cultivates that community. A few years ago, when I really started to sit down and think about what's my purpose in life, why am I doing what I'm doing, what I came to the conclusion was that my purpose in life is to help people live healthier, more fulfilling lives. Whether that's by inspiring them through what I do in competition or whether that's eventually helping patients and touching people on a more one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, so any way that I can do that is going to help me live out that purpose. So the next step for me is to start a podcast where I'm going to be able to use a lot of the relationships that I've been able to develop over the last few years competing in CrossFit to help disseminate information to a larger audience. I've been really lucky to meet a lot of amazing people who have really great ways of living healthier lives or living more fulfilling lives and I want to be able to share that information. So I'm going to be interviewing as many people as I can and hopefully sharing that information with a large audience. The best advice I could give someone is to decide what your goals are, your specific goals are, and then make sure that that's exactly how you're spending your time. So for me when I first started medical school or when I was in college I was doing school and I was doing CrossFit and that's how I prioritize my time and I wasn't doing much else. And eventually I was able to even structure my time better so I could pull back from school a little bit and put more into CrossFit. For one year I backed off of CrossFit and took a year off of competition and focused on school. So I, there's only so many hours in a day you can't really do everything at once but you have to decide what your priorities are and then make sure that you're following through and spending your time doing those things.